up here now just doing a little cleaning. I did that little video test cleaning uh, to check out production and these things got dirty as hell again so pretty stupid thinking I could just spray <laughs> spray these things off in a little Windex. Did not work. All the dirt's back. I don't know if you can even tell from the video. Probably not but Anyway, I think our urgent care guy or somebody gave me the advice of using the uh, brush here. So I picked this up and uh, anyway, I'm going to clean them off. Especially my big boys down there. So so I just used a little bit of a uh, little soapy mixture they recommend for windows. I figure it's good enough for windows, commercial stuff. It's got to be good for these because these, uh, these things can handle it. Anyway, step one, and that brush too is uh, a soft brush, soft bristle, obviously. If it's good enough for windows, it's going to be good enough for your panels. Uh, I picked it up for like 25 bucks at Home Depot. But uh, anyway, sun is starting to fall, man, so I better get spraying. First spray these babies down, then we'll soap them up and go from there. The fun part. gotta say it's pretty awesome having this long arm this is only I don't know if you can tell it's probably six feet right now I think it goes to 15 I've got it as small as I can get it but it's pretty awesome because I'm nearly 40 feet up and I don't know about you man but I don't like getting on the edge of a roof that's almost 40 feet high especially when you're spraying water all over the place so it's not the most exciting job in the world but you got to do it man and I did prove in my last video it increases production some people have thought maybe that I just cooled down the panels in that video and uh, that was really that's what accounted for the increase in production but that was a very cool crisp day which is unusual where I live even in the winter time panels were were cool to the touch yeah I may have cooled them down even more but it was negligible but um, anyway it was like uh, waxing and washing and waxing your car man using my life blood they don't call me son sensational for nothing so I better get going that sun is gonna be gone and 20 minutes and I'm only halfway done I still got this is my end phase inverted string this is where we get most of my big production although I'm starting to catch up on the on the 12 volt panels down here because now I've got let's see what do I got three six eight so I got two 155s and the rest are 135s and 140s so yeah, I'm getting there, man, and then I'm going to hit this, the rest of this, uh, this uh, rack here, which I'm going to obviously put the big boys on uh, with the end phase, uh, and just tap into um, the junction box I put in right there. It's pretty easy adding on. The hardest part, honestly, was that conduit right there. Bending that and getting that shit to run, angle down, attaching it into the drywall, I mean into the... Uh, concrete anyway I mean I don't do this shit for a living so that's not fun <laughs> but, but believe it or not the panels and the end facing electrical is pretty easy alright no more done with this rack now time to squeegee the last step it's pretty cool they have a little squeegee on these things whoa jeez I don't know how much I'm, I don't know if I'm doing any good with this. Alright, these are done, looking good, although that squeegee does nothing. I'm going to have to dry them with a towel. Oh my god, that thing just fell down, boom, 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 full of water. 
God knows what I freaking just, you can see the mess, or maybe you can't see the mess. It's a mess. That was very stupid. I got disaster, disaster after disaster. I have no idea what the hell just happened. This is just a huge lake. The hose came down, it was off. It's obviously it wasn't off. Take care of that shit downstairs later. I want to dry these babies off first. Uh, so, squeegee I've learned doesn't work. The brush part, awesome. Alright. I made it. Sun's almost gone. But, uh, get up on in that real close. It's like brand new. Here's a finished product on this end. Wound up, I'm out of breath, sorry. I had to use the towel to uh, dry it off. In fact, they're still a little wet down there, but anyway, they're pretty good though. That is as clean as they were when I got these things out of the box for the first time. I'm so stoked. I really am. Jeez, it feels beautiful. God, it's like silk. Yeah, this is the Kia Sarah. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I, uh, a year ago, I drilled a hole from the back uh, accidentally and punched right through. Anyway, I tested it out on a multimeter, and it was shot. Um, and I just basically had it in storage. I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't want to toss it, try to get it returned. That failed. But anyway, long story short, pulled it out of the uh, garage the other day just for a goof and started testing it out on the multimeter. It worked perfect. All right. Sun sensational. The sun and out. I'm exhausted. Little view. Good view up here, man. I wish I, uh, had a deck up here. You can see that boat out there. It's really calm today. No wind. That turbine, I mean, I, you know, obviously, I live off the beach. You can see the ocean out there. That turbine is always spinning. Uh, minimum, or not minimum, but average 7 to 10. It's dead today. I don't know what's going on. I tried getting some readings on my HY down there, but couldn't break five miles an hour, so screw it. Maybe tomorrow. All right, adios. Sun out.